With this new update, smart objects just got a lot more useful in Photoshop CC. Similar to Illustrator and InDesign, linked smart objects allow you to use the same object in multiple documents, change it once and have that change flow through to each and every Photoshop document, saving tons of time and improving team collaboration as well. This method works with image files that you create from Photoshop or even PDFs or raw photos from Lightroom and of course Illustrator files as well. The other big advantage of using Link Smart Objects is that it can also reduce the size of your Photoshop files and that will save you hard disk space. Because the actual Smart Object won't be stored inside of the Photoshop file, it will be stored separately. So let's see how it works and why is it useful. Here I have a brand identity for a fictional company called Hunter Studio. As you can see, it's a shark logo and it appears several times in this visual where we have all the stationaries laid out. Now, the way I created this is that I have the original Illustrator file and I linked this file as a smart object in the Photoshop document. So if I come back here and I show you one of these, like the folder here has the smart object. And instead of the usual icon here on the thumbnail, we will see a little chain icon, meaning that this is a linked smart object. If I right click on it, we will get a couple of new options like reveal in folder and also these, which I'm going to talk about soon. So this smart object is actually outside of the Photoshop file. It's an external source. So I can go to Illustrator and make changes there and then we'll see what happens here. All the versions of the logo are linked to the original source file, the Illustrator file. If I double click on the thumbnail here, that will take me to the original file, the source file, just like with a normal smart object. And then if I make any changes here, like let's say I'm going to change uh, the colors on this icon. So I just click on recolor artwork and I'm going to turn this shark into red, for example. So I just go to edit, link the colors, and then I move all the colors onto the other side. So make the shark more red. So let's have a look at it. If I click on OK and I save these changes here in Illustrator, so I just click on save. Then I go back to Photoshop and the changes will roll out on all the instances where I used the logo. So you can see it updated here, there, there and there as well. There is a couple of things like uh, these instances where I use the color overlay to change the color of the text. But if I go back again, just double clicking on the source and for example, I change my mind and I want to use a different font instead of this, I can do that as well. Let's just choose Bang Gothic, for example. And then I move the text a little bit further up something like that, maybe a bit align it more. Now if I go and choose File Save and even this change will update and now this change will also show up more on these instances where I only have the text visible. So you can see that this option can save you a lot of time and the best thing is that you can use the same linked smart object not only in one document several times but you can even use it in different uh, documents like here, if I go to the other Photoshop file, you will see that we have the same logo on these bags. But because in this case, I have several layers of smart objects, it won't update automatically. I will have to double click on this smart object here. That will take me to the source. And now because it's open, it will warn me that this smart object will have to be updated. As you can see, there's that little icon. And if I right click on this, I can choose update modified content. So once I do that, you can see now it's updated. I just have to save this and go back to my original document. So now this one is updated. The one on the left is still not yet updated because that's in a separate smart object or inside a sm separate smart object. So let me show you how you can create these type of smart objects. I'm just going to delete this one here on the left and bring in uh, the smart object itself. I can go to the file menu and choose place linked, 
that's a new option as well. So instead of place embedded, which would be the original workflow when you work with embedded smart objects, now you can choose place linked. And I just need to find that file in the uh, link smart objects folder, there's my logo. So I'm just going to click on place. And then as you can see, it will open up as a smart object and I can position it wherever I want to. I can change its perspective as well very easily. But now, as you can see, this is a direct link to the original source file, which is the Illustrator document. And another way, which is also good to know how to create these link smart objects, you can also drag and drop files from Finder or from uh, Bridge. But what you need to do is hold down Alt before you place it in, if you hold down Alt, that means it's going to create a linked smart object. So if I press Enter, you can see this also has the link. But if I don't hold down Alt and just simply drag and drop a version of this, then that will be a normal embedded smart object. And last but not least, if you have a linked smart object selected and you go into the properties panel, you can actually find the root folder where the file is on the computer. And if you decide to embed it, you can always click here on embed. And if you want to find the smart objects in your document, remember you can use filtering for that. You just need to choose smart object and then you can find what type of smart object is in the document. So you can filter for up-to-date linked smart objects, or you can filter for out-of-date uh, linked smart objects, and you can also filter for missing uh, smart objects. So these are also new filtering options, which can make it easier to work with this new feature. I am very happy to have this update on smart objects as I was one of those users who requested this way of working with uh, these smart objects and now finally we get the chance to use it and believe me it is a huge time saver.